today I'm going to be talking about the Ibanez AZ series. This is the 2402 FF and this is the 242 and uh, they are two guitars that are basically identical in the way that they look and almost the way they feel but more importantly there's a big difference in the price tags. So this one is almost two and a half times the price of this one and the major difference of course is the where they're manufactured and some of the specifications and I thought if you're in the market for one of these two guitars I thought I would have a good opportunity to explain to you what I think the differences are and why you may want to go for one or the other. This model right here is a Prestige. It's made in Japan and this is a premium made in Indonesia. Both are made uh, very well. <laughs> The only thing that's really important to mention is that when you buy them new, uh, the, the Japanese model will come with knobs that look exactly like the Indonesian one. I swapped the knobs to white knobs. I just thought it looked better with the white pickups that it comes with. The Prestige has an alder body with a four millimeter thick maple cap. It has a one piece roasted maple neck and the neck is darker than what you would see on the uh, premium series. And that's because the Ibanez puts that it's an S-Tech roasted maple. I don't know what that means. They have a little blurb about it, but I want to just explain to you what it feels like and looks like. It looks darker and it feels denser and harder. <laughs> Both models have lumen lay dots and the both feature stainless steel frets. All those frets are highly more polished. So I don't know if that's just because they spent more time polishing them or it's because it's a harder material, but it is obvious. I didn't need anybody to tell me in the specifications there's a difference. It was obvious to the touch uh, when playing the guitars that this had a more finished feel. In fact, overall, the frets feel on the ends the same on both guitars, um, but like I said, there's just a more high-end feel to the Prestige, and it's not just in the way that it uh, it comes across as like fit and finish work, as it is quality. It just feels like a harder neck. And I'm sure a lot of that tuning stability comes from the Goto bridge that they put on the Prestige. It has machined titanium saddles, a solid steel block, where the Premium has... This bridge is definitely a cheaper bridge. This bridge is made to look like this, uh, the Prestige bridge. Um, it's not made of the same materials. Normally, I don't really get picky about that, but I will tell you this. There is a sound. Yeah, let's see if you can hear that. Um, it's not defective. It's just creaking a little bit because the plastic is not lined up uh, when I put the tremolo arm on. This is something that can be easily fixed. I'm not uh, worried about it as quality, like as defectiveness. Again, the block on this is a not a solid piece of uh, block. It's not solid steel or brass. It's a uh, cast block and it's much smaller. We'll, know, we'll have to see if we notice any sound difference. I haven't compared these guitars to each other yet. Both models have the Dynamix 10 switching system that allows you to have uh, 10 different sounds with the two humbuckers. So let's try some of those sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
Prestige model has the Seymour Duncan Hyperion uh, pickups, which feature the Alnico 5 magnets. It also has Seymour Duncan Hyperion pickups in it, which have the Alnico 5 magnets. Um, so I can assume that they're the same pickups. It doesn't state anywhere that they're somehow uh, less expensive versions or Duncan Designs or Indonesian import version pickups. So as far as I know, they're both American-made pickups. There's nothing in the literature that alludes differently than that. They both seem to have the same exact tuning keys. I can't see any difference in the tuning keys uh, by Godo. So both are locking Godo tuning keys. So you're getting that same quality. The premium includes a Graftech nut and of course the Prestige has a bow nut. I think they're both comparable in quality. I wouldn't necessarily replace this to a bow nut or vice versa. Um, if I had a preference, I don't know if I have a preference other than I, I really just want at least this kind of quality on a guitar. I'm not interested in like a plastic one. The major difference, of course, in the premium is this is a basswood body to the alder body, and this is a maple veneer. So this is a piece of veneer and maple. One thing I will definitely point out that is very important to notice is that the premium looks to my eyes a thousand times better. In fact, I would imagine that if I hung these two in my front room and invited some friends that were not guitar players over for dinner, I would imagine a lot of them would think this is the more expensive guitar by leaps and bounds. Me personally, just looking at them here, this finish looks more expensive, it looks more high-end. This top actually was not that exciting. It's kind of just there. It says it's like a 5A or a 4A top, but man, this is a, that is a showstopper of a guitar right there with that finish. Very cool. And I love how they, they took the time to actually do the back. Think about this. In this one, they, they didn't, of course. They didn't burst the back. They just left it to be... Uh, it looks like translucent. It's, it looks black, but it's actually like a translucent dark brown. It's the darkest hue. So very cool in that regards. <laughs> Thank you. 
So a lot of times when you do shootouts like this, it's hard to say which one's the winner. What I will tell you is overall, I think I like the premium better than the prestige. When I say that, keep in mind, none of that is based on the quality of the guitar. Quality wise, I think everything about the prestige is superior. The frets feel shinier and smoother, easier, less friction, less ability. Generally speaking, uh, the neck feels firmer, stronger. It, it's got a nice feel to it. Everything about this guitar feels a little better in the way that it's constructed. But overall, believe it or not, I think some of the things that they did to lower the price on this, like changing out the bridge and, uh, and not roasting the neck as much to make it as dense, I think it made it more alive and breathed a little better. I'm really curious to see how the playback happens on the recording because it's always interesting to see what the microphone picks up from the amp versus what the guitars sound like in the room. In the room, this guitar sounded brighter and darker than this. This seemed more like in the mid-range, more where I'd want to be if I was in the frequency range of a band. So ultimately, as much as I can say nothing wrong about the prestige that I have, I really think I prefer the premium. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that answers some of your questions and it was a fun video for you. And as always, thank you so much for your time and know your gear. Mm -hmm.